Hi, I'm Martin and I'm back with some more Gulp.js talk. In the meantime, I um, figured out what was wrong last time and how I could just port over everything from crunt, that's what you see on the left, the crunt file.js, to my new Gulp file.js. And you can see it's uh, much shorter, um, very clean. and this is the new package JSON with only the gulp dev dependencies. Grunt is completely removed. I will um, also delete the grunt file as soon as we are done with this screencast. So um, I've taken it uh, up front. Don't know how to say that really. So um, I will switch to gulp. I think it's great. It's easy to understand. It's fast. Everything's nice. So. Let's get over. Um, let's uh, look into the the Gulp file. So at the top, I define every um, thing I need. So the package JSON, the dev dependencies, um, says um, it will be installed with an npm install. And the in the Gulp file, we require all those um, node modules so we can use them. So. Uh, first of all, you see I have three main task tasks, uh, which are the this task, JS task, and the watch task, and a small build task, um, which I don't use very often, but it's nice to have it. So to um, to compile the ZAS and do everything we want, we have this task, and first of all, we define the the source file which uh, we want to use and then we put this file into the gulp pipe and do everything we want with it and then um, output our CSS. So first of all um, this us a CSS file gets compiled to CSS then the auto prefixer um, with some options um, does its thing and prefixes the um, yeah some CSS attributes and then I minify the CSS rename the file to dot min and save it in the dist um, for distribution directory in the CSS folder. Um, I always um, yeah, just save the files in a CSS folder on the top level and uh, also this JS files in the JS folder. But um, it, it seems like it's a normal way, a better way, best practice. I don't know. And, and it, I had also problems with some live reloading stuff. So I, I figured I have this dist type directory and everything that's in here is what will actually get used and referenced from the header PHP, footer PHP, and so on. Um, I probably will also make an image um, folder in this, so that probably I haven't looked uh, into it, that Gulp can automate some um, image optimizations and save the optimized images in the dist image uh, folder. Um, yeah, I have to look into that, but now it's just uh, everything with Gulp that I've done with Grunt. So next up is the JS task. Uh, it was a little bit uh, more trouble because um, I was just stupid, <laughs> and now it's working, working fine. So JS task. We have the source, which is my scripts JS. This is the file where I write all my all of my own code. I'm not that big of a JavaScript um, programmer, so. <clears throat> Mostly that's everything I need and um, I use JS hint to just look if I have done anything really, really bad and um, this is the default reporter. This means um, this is for the output in the console. Um, yeah, you can define your own reporters, uh, own console messages. I went with the default one because I, I have no um, special needs or anything like that. So then we've got the scripts.js in our pipe. We add 
every JS file which is in a subfolder of JS. At the moment that's just the libs folder and the prism JS is for syntax highlighting of code examples on martinwolf.org. So, um, but you never know. I could just have um, written underscore libs, but I think maybe I will add another folder and so I don't have to go in here and change every, uh, anything. So we add uh, this the sources, which is only one file at the moment. Then I use Uglyfy to minify my JavaScript. It can you can um, use some options here and configure uh, Uglyfy. At the moment, I have no idea what to do, and I, I just um, yeah use the default. And if I run into any problems, I can see and uh, configure some more as uh, is needed. So then I concatenate all um, all those files into one probably ha huh. now if I think about it probably it's it's um, I should doing this adding the sources concatenate my files put them all together in a scripts minjs then uglyfy this file and then um, output the JS scripts in JS into the disk JS folder. I'm not sure what are the what the benefits are of doing this or that. Maybe someone can tell me who is uh, proficient in, in JavaScript. So this actifies or minifies every file on its own and then concatenates and this is the other way around. It might be better, I think, because I put everything together and then Uglyfy can do its magic and maybe um, do some more minification um, than if, I, if it was the other way around. So I will stay with this. But uh, feel free um, to comment on that. I'm, I'm happy to, <laughs> to learn more about JavaScript and um, JavaScript details. So, and the last of the three gut task is my watch task. I um, have the reload um, gut task, which uh, allows me to um, reload the browser if a CSS, JS, or PHP file changes. So this basically says, "Hey, live reload or uh, live reload. Listen to what's going on." And I have in Firefox or if any other browser, there's a, an extension, the live reload extension. And if you start um, the Gulp watch task, like using Gulp for starting watch, live reload server listening on, and then you can um, just activate the live reload extension gets a little red um, thingy in the middle. And now if I, oops, yeah, um, first of all, oh, I didn't want that. Uh, yeah, it listens and then I say gulp watch and look uh, at all the SCSS files in um, the folder SCSS and all the uh, subfolders and if something is changing then use disaster task which is this and this can uh, generate the new CSS. Same goes for the JS and the JS task and I also um, have a look at um, the PFP files if something, cha something changes. I just reload the page. That's nice if you work with the WordPress theme also. Um, so let's, let's see how this is going. Um, let's say we have the, the global and we changed the background color. Oh, why does that keep happening? Nice. Um, so, uh, let's say we change the background color to red. Then, oh, save. Yeah, WordPress is um, the, <laughs> WordPress, um, the, the, ah, words. Come to me. Um, <laughs> the site is reloading, automatically reloading. And change it back, save, auto reload, everything's fine. That's nice. Um, the image is gone because I changed, 
um, change the location of the CSS file and yeah, nothing to worry about, nothing to do with Gulp. So um, that's that's it, I think. Gulp file. It's very easy to understand. Put something in on the one side, do a lot of things and uh, get an output on the other side. If you have any questions or suggestions, if uh, anything I did wrong, I'm new to Gulp, um, let me know or ask any questions. I'm happy to help if I can. So thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.